Test 2, Section 2. You will hear a library assistant talking about the library she works in. You now have 30 seconds to read questions 11 to 15. Hi, can I help you? Um, yes. I wanted to join the library. OK. First of all, let me show you round the library and explain a few things for you. OK, now we're here at the main entrance. You can see the reception, which is where you bring back and take out books. And also, we can order books and answer your questions there. Mm -hmm. Next to the reception, where you can see those old desks, is where we keep the magazines, because you can sit down and read there. They're divided into sections for sciences, geography, arts, etc. Then, at the back of the library, you can see the section for old books. Next to that is where the books proper start. That used to be the science section, but now on those shelves, you'll find the art section. We had a big reorganisation in the summer, which I think has made it clearer. Oh. <laughs> the numbering is standard, so you should be able to find what you want quite easily. However, if you can't find something, it probably means it's been borrowed. OK, then in the corner next to the reference section is where we thought it was quietest and away from the phones and printers and things, so we've put the study desks there. They all have computer access if you need it for your laptop. No. We do ask that you don't just read magazines there, though. OK, uh, then there's the reference section where you can look up the files. Then, as we come back to the main entrance, is the next section, where we used to have the languages. It got very busy and noisy, so when we moved everything round, we decided to put the law books here. Also, because it's a smaller section, it fits quite well here. Ah. OK, then, we're back at the main entrance. Over there, by reception, there's a door that goes to the extension. And we have further sections, such as languages and study desks through there. So you could have a look round when we've finished. Then, just between reception and the door here, is where we decided to put the computers. But the computer magazines are in the magazine section, as we found too many went missing here. <laughs> OK, is that everything? You now have 30 seconds to read questions 16 to 20. And answer questions 16 to 20. Now, if you can take a look at your plans, you'll see Branley Castle has four towers joined together by a high wall with the river on two sides. Don't miss seeing the Great Hall. That's near the river in the main tower, the biggest one which was extended and redesigned in the 18th century. If you want to get a good view of the whole castle, you can walk around the walls. The starting point's quite near the main entrance. Walk straight down the path until you get to the south gate, and it's just there. Don't go on to the north gate. There's no way up from there. There'll shortly be a show in which you can see archers displaying their skill with a bow and arrow. The quickest way to get there is to take the first left after the main entrance and follow the path past the bridge. Then you'll see it in front of you at the end. If you like animals, there's also a display of hunting birds, falcons and eagles and so on. 
If you go from the main entrance in the direction of the south gate, but turn right before you get there instead of going through it, you'll see it on your right, past the first tower. At 3 p.m., there's a short performance of traditional dancing on the outdoor stage. That's right at the other side of the castle from the entrance and over the bridge. It's about ten minutes' walk or so. And finally, the shop. It's actually inside one of the towers, but the way in is from the outside. Just take the first left after the main entrance, go down the path, and take the first right. It's got some lovely gifts and souvenirs. Right, so we're just arriving. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now, if I can just show on this wall map here where they all are,、uh, you might like to go and have a look round. If you come into the main university entrance at the first junction, you'll find that Brown Hall is on the corner opposite the theatre. So you're nice and near the station here, though I think it can get a bit noisy with traffic. The same applies to Blake Residence, which is directly facing the junction to the university entrance. These halls are often used by medical students and such like, as they're out all day, so don't notice the noise. Anyway, if you then walk along Campus Road towards the main circle, you'll see the library on the corner, and Queen's Building is just past that as you head north. You will find that it is quieter here, and you may get fewer visitors. By the way, the circle is quite a feature of the campus, as it's set into the hills and has a brand new sports centre in the middle. It's worth going to look around it. Now, the Parkway Flats are on the opposite corner to the library, facing the circle, as you head towards the main buildings. The main buildings are only about a five-minute walk from here, and places in these halls go quickly. So my advice is to reserve your place as soon as possible. Then Temple Rise is inside the circle, next to the sports centre, but further from the main university buildings. Now, if you'd like to go off and physically. Now listen and answer questions seventeen to twenty. So, what exactly are the facilities? What sports can you play here? Well, this room we're in at the moment is called the main hall, and it's used mainly for team sports such as football, volleyball, and basketball, but also for badminton and aerobics. On the other side of the reception area. There's the dance studio. This provides a smaller, more intimate space, which we use for ballet, modern dance, and martial arts. Not at the same time, of course. Then, in a separate building, which you may have noticed on your way here, it's on the other side of the car park. There are the squash courts, six of them, and at the far end of the building, a fitness room. This is our newest facility, only completed in the spring. But it's already proving to be one of the most popular. As well as all these facilities available here on the campus, we also have an arrangement with the local tennis club, which is only two miles away, entitling our students to use their courts on weekday mornings in the summer. So, I think that there should be something here for everybody, 
and I hope to see all of you at the center, making use of the facilities. If, in the course of the year, you have any suggestions as to how the service we provide might be improved, or its appeal widened, I'll be interested to hear from you. That is the end of Section 2. You will now have half a minute to check your answers.